Who's actually awake? Me! Uh, I don't know who I am. Uh, welcome to the directors, and now it says producers panel, but none of the producers actually wants to come up, so uh, uh, it'll be a directors panel. Uh, uh, let's aren't, see. Aren't you a producer? You yeah, I know, but, but I'm. Uh, Tosi, you are a panelist now. No, I'm not a panelist. I, I don't Wait. work for the company that I work for. Could you I'm tell us about some of your trials and tribulations and producing Pokemon? And Different countries. <laughs> That's 23 different countries. 23 different countries. With languages I don't speak. <laughs> no, I do not serve the almighty Pikachu right now. I'm working for Otakon on staff. Okay. Uh, and no writing ball. about this. <laughs> and no writing about this. Fancy's <laughs> just typing away. Oh, I was I was already about something else. Okay, We're good. thank you. All well. is there is no Pokemon producer on stage. No Pokemon <laughs> Translator. Pokemon producer. Translator. Yeah, so, so I heard something this weekend about uh, Pokemon. In the US, you're not supposed to use the name Pocket Monster, but you have to say Pokemon. I got your Pocket Monster right here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, will you stop? <laughs> this is not about me Sir, or about yes, you I trying to make you look like bad or funny. See what's that? Manzai Nagi Smakro Lichito. Welcome to the director's panel. Uh, we have some esteemed directors amongst us. Nobody needs to go. Woo! Um, so last year I directed an anime for 
the first time in 13 years, and boy, was it a flop. <laughs> Uh, but and uh, along with that flop of last year, in the 50 years I've done animation, there's been a lot of flops, but you know, I don't think about them. And of course, with the changing times, the mentality, the sensibilities of the animators I'm working with have changed with the times, and I find myself just running full throttle and neutral, try, trying to get people to understand what it is that I'm trying to do. I mean, but I don't want my career to end such as this. So I'm trying new things, trying something different, because I think it'd be kind of um, uh, upsetting to for it to end like this. So I'm gonna keep on going. Thank you for the short introduction. <laughs> 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 Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm Shinkai, and uh, sorry for my bad English, uh, but 
Thank you, Mr. English. Uh, I made Voice of Distance Star. Yay! That <laughs> was actually my debut. And then I made uh, the place promised uh, in our early days. Woo! <laughs> and then I made uh, a 5-cent medal as a card. Woo! And now uh, we are showing Chess stars, but uh, I'm not sure in this English title. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I did the screening to, uh, yesterday. Mm. <laughs> uh, my career is only nine years, so I got so I got so nervous because in front of uh, such a so great director. <laughs> so uh, should I do? I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> so thank you. So, um, as it usually is with Japanese guests, I think the easiest thing to do is to launch into a Q&A session. So if you have questions in particular for a, a single director or overall director, or every director, uh, there's a microphone back there. And we'll try to get through as many as we can. So there's a mic right there. Two mics? Oh, there's two mics. Sorry. You're right. Thank you. Um, we will start with um, uh, me. Okay. <laughs> All right. My first question is for Mr. Shinkai. Your debut, uh, Voices of Distant Star, you created it almost entirely by yourself. So what was it like to make the transition from a movie that you controlled completely to a, a project with many staff and many animators on it? えっと、監督の作品の仕掛けというのは、結構みんな知ってる話ですが、その制作状態から、スタッフにいっぱいいる映画にうつるっていうのはどういうような思いでしたか。そうですね。あの、最初僕が自分で一人で作ったのは、それ
まずあのテレビプロデューあのテレビ監督に聞きたいと思います。えー、っと横にいるプロデューサーさんが意見があるならどうぞあの,あの,あの話してください。<笑>えっとテ,テレビ番組のブルーレイのセールスの数のことについて2010年のブルーレイではあのトップセリング一番売れてるのは化け物語軽音そしてそれ以外は軽音の前のあのシーズンとか、鈴宮春樹がトップのセールスに入っています。いっぱいテレビ番組があるのに、なぜこのタイトル、3つぐらいのタイトルしかトップセールスに入ることができないのですか<笑><笑>いや、作る人だから、They just make the stuff. <笑><笑>そしてどういう作品を作るのが一番売れる作品が作れるのでしょうか<笑>今の時点ではブルーレイってまだあのすごくこう一握りの人にとっての,ものっていうかあの、えー、ソフトが高いっていうのもあって、えー、だからファンにとっても記念品大切な記念品なんですねその大切な記念品と思える作品かどうかっていうところが今売れているか売れてないかの差になっていると思います単に楽しめるかどうかではなくて Uh, my feeling with the higher cost of Blu rays and the <clears throat> still limited number of people who own Blu ray machines, these high selling ones are usually something the fans will treasure for what it contains or what it has.、Um, not, it may not be because it was an enjoyable show. <laughs> <laughs> Well, at least that's my feeling. <laughs> Any other? You can't. Any other? Yeah. Well, you know, in 10 years, Blu ray is going to get replaced by something newer and better anyway. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, in Japan there's a lot of earthquakes. But this most recent one was off the scale. And we, I think the Japanese people are still in shock and we're still in a state of recovery. Um, one of the producers who I worked with on one of Macross、uh, was、um, taken by the tsunami in an instant. Yeah, I mean, and there was the incident at the Fukushima power plant. 
and the person who was actually there is, and who is a translator is not in the room right now. You can see him. Um, he has three arms. Yes, <laughs> yes, he, he has a ukulele and, and a little beard, you see him? Yeah, he was in the building across the street from the number one reactor. So, <coughs> Tokyo itself is very much affected. One of the things is the, um, uh, the limited use of electricity that's happening everywhere. Train stations are darker or dark. Trains run without lights inside. Uh, air conditioning is limited, if at all. Escalators no longer move if you have to use the stairs. And coming from an age where that was normal, um, it's the heart, but still, I, I knew about it, but young, younger people are still struggling with the changes. Um, but honestly speaking, I don't think too many people in Japan are thinking seriously enough on it. And on the job, on the work front, um, most of the clients, the producers, are sort of in a wait and see um, posture, sort of hiding their heads, to, waiting for all this to pass. So no one is is even attempting or willing to try to create something new or different. Um, so I don't know how long this will last, um, and I have to wonder if it's even possible to go back to the um, uh, ways it used to be.
生まれてくるだろうということともう一つは、えー、でもこんなにその大変な世の中だけれども、えー、すごく明るいこともあるよっていうそのなんかこう何て言うんでしょう明るい未来を示すそういう作品が出てくるんじゃないかと思います。Some of the upcoming titles will, I think, be one of two things, mainly one of two things.、Uh, one is a kind of work that makes you think what it is to live. Seriously, think about what it is to live on. And another theme would be even at the darkest times, there is a possibility of a bright future and to move toward it.
Uh, this question from Robert Sumerata. Uh, who, uh, who's your favorite Tim Park character and why? Tsuhato no character. Tsuhato. This was made around 1950 or so, but uh, we were amazed by the techniques being used in this. When we found out how, how it was being done and everything, we found ourselves thinking, boy, these Chinese are pretty, pretty smart. <laughs> Um, if you want more details, I'll do it at another time because I don't want to speak for too long. <laughs> <laughs>
これはもしあのまだご覧になってない方がいらっしゃったらぜひ見ていただきたいと思います。Ah. And if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend that you、um, uh, seek it out and watch it. I swear this is just a coincidence, but the latest DVD that I recently purchased. Is、uh, Mr. Ishiguro's Legend of Galactic Heroes DVD. So, the project that we had to do was it could be any two characters, male or female, it could be set anywhere, but in the least amount of lines, they had 
we had to express that they meet periodically, that they get together on occasion. So um, I wasn't the one that came up with it, but it was it was a man and a woman late at night meeting on a, on a corner. One woman hands the uh, one character hands the other character a suitcase and says, "Till the next time," and leaves the scene. <laughs> Well, I mean, to be able to pull off a scene like that as a creator, it's a beautiful thing. But it's so, so much easier to do in live action. Trying to ask animators to do something like that may be too much to ask for.
勉強しますこれから<笑><笑> So I never formally studied how to portray scenes like this、uh, I taught myself how to depict the acting in my works So I'm really very, not very good at uh, uh, expressing the emotions of my character in this method So listening to these two directors speak was a great learning experience for me. <laughs> But I think you do it really well. <laughs> That I've experienced, but they, they know more than I do in terms of what's new. So, yes, I'm curious to see what they could, what information they could provide. <laughs>
and uh, having been freed from the confines of the old cell animation, I find myself uh, seeing a, um, a wider horizon ahead of me. I mean, for when I was doing Yamato, um, Yamato flying through space was always three frames, one millimeter. Um, that was a set thing. It, in fact, that had to be a set thing because the machine couldn't handle anything even sm any smaller than that. <laughs> 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 I 